beneath the fog, two kilometers from the source, the lava's temperature still reaches close to 1,000 degrees centigrade. This incredible bank of lava advances at several centimeters per second. The fate of the trees condemned by the lava flow is rather tragic, as the volcanologist Harwin Taziev describes it. Often they die standing. They're standing but dead. The reason is that, despite the temperature and the incredible quantity of heat it's carrying, the lava cannot ignite the wood and foliage, or even grasses, until it evaporates all the water from the plants. And plants are primarily composed of water. Grasses and leaves wither in a few seconds ignite suddenly and are gone. As for trees, it takes much longer for the lava to evaporate the ton or even tons of water they hold. hundred years before Christ, Virgil was fascinated by the same spectacle. Convinced the volcano was the home of the gods, he wrote, Etna thunders with terrible eruptions. Sometimes the mountain throws a black cloud, swirling with dark smoke and incandescent cinders into the ether. Sometimes it spits out boulders torn from its entrails. Bellowing, it piles liquid stones into the sky from its boiling depths. Enormous Etna exhales flames from its gaping ovens, and each time it turns on its weary side, the whole of Trinacria trembles with a long sigh. <laughs> 